Hi everyone! So I just wanted to give a little update because it's been a while and we are two weeks away from me becoming fully sterile at 21. So <laughs> it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Uh, my endo has been really painful. I've had a lot of cysts pop. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired and I'm so tired of constantly being in pain and constantly just feeling so depleted. It's it's just it's been crazy and every week I have a bladder installation so that's a catheter and they fill your bladder up with medicine and um yeah. So <laughs> so not the funnest thing in the world, but it does help a lot. Um yeah, two weeks away from my first s surgery for the hysterectomy. So they're going to take out as much endo as they can. They're going to help my bladder. And then they are going to do that tubal ligation and whatnot. Um, a lot of it just depends on what it looks like when they're inside and how bad it is. And what areas are affected the most. And then they will know what the second hysterectomy surgery will look like and what they're going to take out. Because like I said, they're, they don't want to do it all at once and I don't want it all done at once because I need the hormones. If I can keep certain parts, that would be wonderful. Um, but it's kind of just exploring what needs to be taken out next. So um, nothing too much of a big update. I think I've just finally realized like I'm two weeks away from becoming sterilized. Like that's crazy. And like I've, I always knew that obviously <laughs> that that was the, you know, repercussion of all this. But, you know, I was at my surgeon's office last week and Trent was finally able to go with me and he looked at Trent and said, you do realize that, you know, she's going to be completely sterile. There's no going back. Like after this surgery, there's absolutely no going back. She will permanently be sterile. And obviously we knew this, I'm in therapy and Trent's okay with it, but I don't know. I think hearing it said to Trent was what really made me pause and think like, oh my gosh. That is crazy that I'm just, I don't fit the mold of normal, especially at my age. And it was kind of a kick to the gut. But at the same time, I just had to sit back and realize I don't have to be normal. I don't have to be normal to be happy. I find that within myself. I find happiness and peace within myself. I don't have to have babies naturally to be a good mom. You know, my kids will never have to second guess if I love them or if I wanted them. They will be completely fought for. And I, I can't be a good mom if I'm constantly in this much pain, if I'm constantly just in agonizing pain and I, can't be the best version of myself if I stay like this. And I just had to remind myself of that last week is, yeah, it's a kick to the gut. It's always hard to hear. But at the same time, it's the best thing for me and Trent and my future family. I don't have any other options because if my endo spreads, I'm screwed. <laughs> And I just, I can't risk that, especially when I am so happy and I have the best husband and I just can't risk that for myself and for my future family, you know? But I am I said from the beginning I would be transparent and it was hard to hear, but at the same time, I have that inner peace within myself even being non, you know, ha being able to have my own kids, I'd still have to find that inner peace with myself. You know, it's, I've gone through too much for this to kick me down. <laughs> I've gone through too much.
pain and sorrow and trauma for this to be the thing to kick me down. To me, it sounds so silly. You know, like, I can still be a wonderful mother and a wonderful wife. You know, my path just has to look different and that's okay. And I think I wanna spread that message today is, it's okay for your path to look different. And honestly, I think it's quite beautiful when your path looks different. If we were all the same, life would be so boring. It would be so trivial. And yeah, trials are hard, but at the same time, they only make you stronger in the end. And I know that, I've been through that. <laughs> you know, this trial just looks different and that's okay. It's, it's okay. And I'm happy to have peace with myself. You know, this is the first time since I was 14 that I feel like I am myself again and that I'm happy and that I love myself. You know, how I'm, that's the most important thing in life is, yeah, you could have a partner who loves you, but do you love you? And I can finally say for the first time in six, seven years, I do. You know, I, I love myself and I'm comfortable in my own skin. And that says a lot. <laughs> it says a lot. And this trial has made me count my, own, my blessings. It's made me realize how much love I have surrounding me, how much support I have surrounding me. I'm just blessed. And yeah, it's going to be a hard couple of months. I know that and I'm preparing for that. But I'm happy. <laughs> it sounds so crazy, but I'm happy. <laughs> and you know, a couple years ago, I couldn't say that. Not honestly. You know, in last semester, a couple weeks ago, my endo was so bad. <laughs> And I was just going in for the bladder installs and I was worried about finals and everything and it was so hard. But you know what? I finished so strong. I finished with a 3.8 GPA. I don't know how I did it. But I did it. And yeah, I'm a little disappointed that I probably can't go to summer school and stuff. But... I gotta take care of myself first because that's my job. I do have a husband that helps take care of me, but at the end of the day, I've gotta take care of me. It's my job. And I'm good with that. You know, I know one day I'll be a therapist. I know I'll be able to achieve my dreams, but for now, I gotta take care of me. And I'm doing that slowly but surely. <laughs> You know, and like I said, I just wanted to spread the message that if your life looks different in any way, no matter what it is, mentally, physically, spiritually, doesn't matter, that's beautiful. It's a wonderful thing to be different and never feel kicked down because of that. Find your strength, find your strength. So I will update you in maybe a week probably a few days before my surgery, I don't know, but that's my little update. Find your strength. Thanks for watching.